If I die, oh my god. So much for showing new camping spots. Hey guys, and welcome to best camping spots in infected mode with Pixel Strike 3D. I know I did part one in like the beginning of 2020, and then I said I was going to do a part two very soon. This is a lot later than what I intended to do it. But nonetheless, we're going to get into this, and I'm going to go into the best camping spots that I believe in in infected mode. But we are going to get into this. It looks like the first camping, uh, the first, uh, of course, freaking broken. This is a great start to the video. The infected mode game is completely broken. This is a great start. So we just missed Sandstorm. That is a very popular map, and there are some of the best camping spots there ever. A lot of those have been patched, and I really don't even think I can do most of those anymore. But now we are actually going to Pirate Cove. And this is a map that has some decent camping spots. This used to have some of the best camping spots ever, but now there is really none left because of the Tomahawks. They basically took out all of them. And I am like falling off and playing horribly. But basically the best camping spots here, I don't believe I did this in the last one. I don't think I did this map last time, is to stand up here really where this guy is right now. This is one of the best spots right here. As I remember, my game is like breaking. Uh, back here is all right, standing right against this post, except like I said, with the Tomahawks, it's basically impossible to get a good camping spot anymore. From here, you can kind of stand, you can fire these RPGs when, when you can and take out some zombies as they come up. Like I'll try to display here. You kind of time this. You have to try to back up and use this post to protect yourself because those tomahawks will get you one way or another. And I'm going to try to time this. You have to constantly stay moving. There are so many places for these zombies to come up that it makes it pretty impossible to even camp up here anymore. And I don't know how I just survived that one. But I kind of like to hang back here and just take them out as they come up. Oh man, I'm dead. And this is one of the more impressive runs. I am definitely going to get hit by something. Auto pistol for the win. No, I don't know. Gosh, and I need to turn this chat off right now. Just got some people in the chat. I know there's a lot of people that... Apparently, a few people I was playing this, I haven't played this in a while, but when I was playing before, people recognizing this, recognizing my name on here with the channel, which is kind of surprising, because I've, I've done a few videos, one's kind of gone somewhat viral, but I see some people that see Kmart on here and somehow recognize it and knew it was Martin Mania, so that's pretty crazy. Looks like we are about to go into Outpost, which is a pretty decent one. This is actually one of the better maps right now as far as camping goes. I'm going to go in with the with this gun, I forget the exact name. This is one of the better ones. There's a few different spots you can go to. I'm actually right at the best spot. It's where you climb up here, you jump on the ledge. A lot of people know this one, and that's how you get over. And you've got a really good spot here where you can fire the RPGs. You can aim through that window. The zombies usually come up hide in that window or right there. And you're able to just fire at will. You have to watch out for the crossfire coming across from there. There's obviously standing on these ledges and the spot over there. But really, if you keep moving, this is a very manageable spot to survive. Even alone, it's, it's tough, it's not easy, but this is possible to win this as the last survivor in infected mode. I have done it before. Because if you concentrate fire here, if you have the perk that has the special weapon as far as the grenade RPG to load faster, it's a lot more manageable. But this is a pretty good camping map. This is one of the ones that is probably one of the easier ones. And especially because you can see the zombies from so far away on this map, it makes it a lot easier to pick them off at the beginning. If if this time runs down, I will turn to a zombie to help out the infected. That's what I usually do. And that looks like that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to help out the infected here. And this is not about camping spots anymore. Now I know the camping spots. So I'm going to help out the infected here and get some of these guys here. So 
So I got one there, I believe. Took out one with that tomahawk. And now I'm gonna go straight to this camping spot, try to get a few of these. You have to sneak. The best way, I see a lot of zombies running across the fields. That's an easy way to get picked off. The best way, sneak through these buildings, and you can still get picked off. But sneak through these buildings and try to stay lay low. And if there's someone here, you just gotta take them out that way. But then once you get through, sneak through these buildings, and then obviously just let that tomahawk go. Because once it locks on, it does not stop. And if you line up right, you will get that kill. And unfortunately, they know this path very well. Oh, I didn't press it. Oh, I still got him. Alright, still got him. And because everyone... There's a lot of easy camping spots in this map, so if you're looking for a good camping spot map, this is the way to go. And if that says anything you need to know about the camping spots in this map, we just lost it as zombies. So that is definitely one of the best camping spots. As you saw, two people just win the game from there. And now we're going to the next map. And Sandstorm is one of the one of my favorite maps. It has had so many different glitches in the past that have made some of the most epic uh, camping spots ever. One of the main ones was here where you were able to jump up here and actually get to that roof. Now I'm going to see if I can see someone else do it because I have seen people up here again. And the only way to get up there I feel like has got to be in this area. And I have not still seen how people do it. Oh my god. If I die, oh my god. So much for showing your camping spots. <laughs> I get killed right away. That is not good for this video. But I guess now I'm going to just show you through vision of where the best camping spots are. And you're going to see me try to take out all the survivors. Because there are a lot of good camping spots in this map. This is probably one of the best ones. There is one in particular on the other side of the map that everyone is at right now. That you're able to climb up the kind of fruit stand type thing. Go in that wall and then glitch. Not really glitch through. You kind of just get on top of that section and it makes it a very good spot to camp. There's also a spot right up here in this area, right up there, that you're able to get to that's all right, but the best spot is obviously up here. Now, I don't know how I didn't just hit that person. That tomahawk went right through them, but that's the best camping spot. Now, you can still get them with the tomahawk. There's really no perfect camping spot anymore with those tomahawks. But see, there we go. It's not easy to get up there. And it's also not easy to take them out, but... I'm gonna get blown up, aren't I? Yep. But you basically jump up here, you go to this spot. There's a few different ways to get to this spot. But actually getting up there is very tricky, and I've only done it once successfully. And show me how. But you jump up here, you get to the spot, you jump on these pillars, and then you jump up there, but I still don't know how to do it. I've been on private servers trying to do it just that way, and I still have not been able to. But basically, you get to this point, you should be able to jump up, but I went around. Even though I got killed, I was going to go around, and I wasn't going to do it successfully. Alright, so the last map I'm going to do here today for the best camping spots is Easter Island, which is the same as Halloween Island, just different theme. And for this, one of the best camping spots ever used to be this one, where you would go to this spot, jump to this tree, get around here, and you would climb up. But now, this is one of the least... This spot is just nothing now. It is literally nothing because the tomahawks can get you from anywhere. So it's still a decent spot. And I actually don't know why I can't get up to it right now. Like I said, I'm very rusty. Okay, there we go. So I'm up here on the top. And you can see all around the map. This one of these this used to be one of the best camping spots ever in this game. That I remember racking up so many kills here. But now with the tomahawks, you are just so vulnerable and it's really nothing. This is a really cool map still. But this spot just leaves you like a sitting duck when you're basically done. Any zombie sees you, they're going to get you. Still is a cool spot. And you have an aerial view. You can see all around the map. But as you can see, everyone's going to come after me here. Now I'm about to be dead. Any second. 
So that's what I usually do is I'll go in, either sit on the roof, or honestly, I'll go in one of these rooms. And a lot of zombies end up not seeing you. And of course, I can't find the room in here. I'll go in one of these rooms, and usually they don't end up seeing you. And I am stuck in this wall. What is happening? I don't know what's happening. Well, I just got stuck in a wall. But I'll sometimes sit in one of those rooms on the top, and I'll kind of camp that way. But I think I covered most of the new maps in this game. Uh, most of the maps I didn't cover in part one. I'm sorry this video took so long to make. I didn't play the game for a while, but then I was trying to get back into it and learn the best camping spots. But unfortunately, there are a lot of them I still don't know to this point. I will try to learn, but until then, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm about to lose this game. So, see you guys in the next video.